everyone I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 445 G7 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM and I made a really short video uh, I'll leave that link in the video description so you can check what's your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop we have upgraded this laptop up to 32 gig with no problem 216 gigs but that's a little too much you can go to eights that's pretty really decent for any uh, light gaming and office use which are this meant for because these are not a gaming laptop and this video i'm just going to show you guys how to open it up and how to remove and how to replace them by removing the ram or replacing the ram upgrading them you're not going to change anything in the windows or any configuration that is required to be done afterward it's just like a plug and play all right so let's get into it. First thing first, you want to make sure that you power off the laptop. Do not put it in a suspension, suspended or do not put it in a hibernation or anything like that. Make sure it's completely turned off. Then you want to flip it upside down and you want to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. You are going to be using a Phillips number zero from this tool set. These are made out of the S2 class of steel. That means they're really tough in the steels. They will last you many years. If you have purchased the Pro set, they do include a Pro set. They, uh, they give you uh, tweezers, opening tools, and a few other stuff, suction cups. But if not, grab the basic set. They're really handy to have. For the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the, most of the screws, they have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So you're just gonna rotate them and it's gonna be like wobbling in there, but it will not come up. But there's a two screws on the front end, one in each corner. These screws will come out entirely. So you wanna remove these ones first and keep them in one pile. All right, now we're gonna start from the screws between the middles in the back and we're gonna release all the screws and sometimes because they have a little c-lock on them as soon as you start like uh, rotating them they will start like uh, opening the gap between the bottom cover and the palm rest so i'm gonna do this one this one didn't do it sometimes they do push the cover because of the c-lock but this one didn't happen so i'm just gonna twist until i see the screw that is loose don't pull it out just leave it like that do that for the rest of the screws also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helping you and uh, to upgrade and service your laptop, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, we're going to grab the opening tool. And we're going to start from the, let's say, front corner here. And you want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool right in there, just like that, about two or three millimeters. And then you want to twist it like this and you want to hear big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. You want to work yourself around. I'm sticking just a little bit. I'm not taking the whole thing. I'm just twisting, wiggling around and moving around in there. And I'm going to do the left and right. I'm putting my finger here so it doesn't go back down. Then go all the way to the back corner. Once you got to the back corner, now there's a clip on the bottom that holds it from this beside the battery. So that's what you want to snap, release those. So I'm going to lift it up again, put my finger in there, and I'm going to bring it up a little bit and work it around. Now I'm going to stop here and I'm going to do it from this side. There we go. Those clips are right over here, they're in the middle somewhere. Let me see if I can find them. Those clips, one right here and there. So those clips that they need to be released, they're right here. So that's why you need to yank it a little bit upward. And right away you can see that the RAM is in front of you, it's a DDR4 RAM. There's one RAM right in here. This is a 16 gig. So you can grab another 16 gig put it right beside it. Just remember to do a RAM upgrade. You do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary and not required. 
But if you want to be paranoid and you want to remove the battery to do the upgrade, you can simply do it by removing one screw right there, two, two screws that touches the battery. So you can just release these two screws. Now, if you want to be on a safe side, you think like you're going to drop the, something on the board, remove these two screws and hold it from here and bring it upward. Let's see, bring it here and bring it upward and it's going to release and then push it to the back and that's how you can release the battery now you can work on the ram if you want but and you want to put it back down put the bottom end here on the clip and bring it down evenly and push it towards the motherboard then put the two screws right on the battery I cannot grab this screw. There we go. All right. Now, to upgrade the RAM, all you want to do, put your two fingers on side it, beside these triggers, and then you want to pull them away from each other. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. All you want to do, grab it in 45 degree angle and slide it backward. Don't yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna crack the RAM or the dim. This is a 16 gig DDR4-3200. So you can grab another one. You want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIM, right in there. So if I want to put it that way around, it's not going to go through because the notch right in the middle, they don't match. So you want to twist them like that. You want to bring it down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack. You can even pinch them inside the jack like that in a 45 degree and then simply push it towards the motherboard and the triggers open and they close and they stay straight. If your triggers are not straight, that means the RAM is not in place. Again, to remove it, pull the covers away from each other. The RAM comes out. Again, you can put another 16 gig beside it, put it right inside the jack, push it towards the model. Now that we got the RAM in there, uh, if you have upgraded, this is for demonstration, you can put another 16 gig with no problem on this model. If you wanna know the maximum RAM capacity for yours, check it on the link in the video description. And one last thing down here, if you have unplugged your battery, plug it back in. Now you're gonna grab the bottom cover, you're gonna put it on top and you wanna push hard on the corners, really hard on the back side too. Make sure those clips to go underneath. And if you see any gap, you can pinch them together, top bottom cover and top palm wrist and tighten up the rest of the screws on the cover and put the two screws on the front. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out to do your own upgrade for your HP ProBook 445G7 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.